Hey lovies, welcome to my channel, Craft the Way with May. I'm May. Welcome to my older new subbies. I'm so glad to have you all here today with me. And as the thumbnail show, you guys see we will be working with all things stencils. We will be working with stencils from Dollar Tree, Dixie Bell, Amazon, and Chocotour. I just wanted to do a whole bunch of stencils today and also we're going to be doing a little bit of wood burning now what i did show you guys there in the clip is that i had did some wood burning when i first started my channel and i never went back and um captured it on video again but i do wood burning um all the time so I just wanted to share something with you and like I said guys the last few videos I'm just trying to introduce new things to the channel I'm not sure if they'll stick around much but you know it's always fun to switch things up and what you see we're starting here starting out with here is a stencil from Dixie Bell I got this wood round from I think I got this wood round from Walmart it was either Walmart or or Hobby Lobby guys I am so sorry with all that I just I have this stuff in my stash <laughs> and it's hard to remember sometimes but it's one of the two stores but I think this one because it was two in a pack that it came from Walmart I think so um what you see I'm doing here is I am using some scorch paste now this is my first time using scorch paste normally I'll use the scorch marker I will try to keep get that link in my description box below I'll try to remember guys if not ask me in the comments and I'll definitely um, search it out and share with you guys but I have to say I like the scorch pan because it's very precise in things that you do but this scorch paste was really cool because um, even after I stained this, which is what you guys are going to see me doing in just right now, <laughs> and I'm going to be staining with the territorial beige, but even after I stained it, it still let me go back and burn some more, so it darkened up a little bit more. And where whereas with the pen, I don't always get to do that. Like it's really really hard to go back and darken things up. Like I literally have to put the stencil back down so on and so forth it's the whole thing but i'm loving the scorch paste so definitely a good investment also it did not require a lot like it was very um very smooth in texture and it gave good coverage even through the stencil so i really like that in all the stencils i'm using with the exception of the ones that's coming from dollar tree or silk screen stencil now they're all pretty affordable. I just recently got the Dixie Bell ones, and I'm in love, which is one of these. And you're going to see me use another one later on um, in a few minutes here. But um, they're all pretty affordable. These were three in a pack for $14.95. And the ones I got off Amazon, they usually range between five and seven bucks. And then the ones from Chalk Couture, those are part of a monthly subscription that I am um, on, which is, I think, is $21. 21 24 something like that a month where they send you a monthly stencil that no one else has access to along with some paint to um or paste um three packets of paste each month so yeah i like it um i've been with them probably a little almost close to two years now but yeah so here is the other stencil and of course it's butterflies were, were you guys shocked i wasn't <laughs> <laughs> y'all knew this was coming don't act like y'all didn't know <laughs> and loveys i want to just say thank you thank you for all the love and prayers i am feeling a lot better i do have a little bit of a raspy voice but overall i'm okay i'm still dealing with like a just a smidge of a dry cough every now and then more so when i go outside not so much when i'm in inside but i'm feeling like 95 percent better and i appreciate the love and the love and support and prayers from you all big hugs and kisses mm. thank you guys for loving me because i love you all right next up project number two is um oh let before we this is pretty self-explanatory now these i'll just tell you guys these stencils came from dollar tree and i was really impressed i thought i was gonna get some bleeding but honey dollar tree showed out they showed up and they showed out yes they did <laughs> i was like okay dollar tree i'm not i'm not mad at y'all y'all can be mad at dollar tree but i'm not mad at dollar tree and i've had these stencils for well over a year guys and was hesitant to use them but I am really impressed with this. And 
what I was going to say, um, this is a thrifted item as well. I've had this in my stash for like two years too and just never... I could never really get into how I was going to craft with it. Every time I pulled it out, I always ended up putting it up. I painted it. I don't even know what it's really, what its original purpose was intended for. I don't know. But um, I was like, why not? It's giving me Mediterranean vibes. I'm going to be using um, some of the... Um, Oh my gosh, what's the name of the cover? Agave by Waverly. But what I wanted to say about the first project, guys, I know I went a little bit faster, but I wanted to let you guys know that I was using a, um, a heat gun, and it is one of the high um, voltage heat, uh, heat guns. I think it was like 18,000 watts or 1,800 watts, something like that. I don't know. I don't know my tools like that. I just know it gets really, really hot and it'll burn the heck out of you. But you can use one of your crafting heating tools. It's just going to take a little bit longer and your wood may not get as dark. So just keep that in mind. Don't feel like you have to go out and get one of those. The gun is not expensive. Oh, I forgot I was going to use it here. Hello, somebody. So yeah. So um, I really like this gun. I had it from the beginning and it was only like, I don't even think it was 20 bucks and I got it from Amazon, but you could pick it up at any of your home improvement stores. But again, if you don't have access to it, if you can't, you know, afford to get it, don't feel the pressure to do so. Definitely use your heating tool if you have that. I wouldn't recommend a blow dryer. I just don't think that it would get hot enough uh, for this, but we could definitely try, you know, you never know. It, it does not hurt to try. But if, you know, if you're into wood burning, if you thought about it, like I don't actually do like the wood carving. I don't do that kind of wood burning. I want to, but I've been nervous. So maybe that's something we could try on camera too. But this is like an easier way to do it and it gives you like that same beautiful burnt wood look if you're into that and I'm really into it I love it and you can do so many things with it I mean you can create all kind of stencils like you don't have to purchase expensive ones like I said uh, Amazon has some super affordable ones that you can purchase um, but you could also, if you have a Cricut machine, you could do it. You can do like reverse stenciling with stickers. Like it is a lot of ways to stencil without breaking the bank. So always keep that in mind. Okay. So with that project, I felt like that one was pretty self-explanatory. I didn't do a whole lot to it. I just kind of bumped up the um, outsides of it and the edges with that color um, of paint. And literally, guys, that was it for that project. Now moving on to project number three, as you can see, these stencils, this particular one that I'm showing you here, where I'm going to say, where it says, make today amazing. That is um, a stencil from Chocotour. The two smaller stencils came from Dollar Tree. And again, very impressed with Dollar Tree stencils, the self-adhesive ones. Now, I've used the other ones, the clear plastic ones, and we've had a few fights. We've had, a, you know, some... some some, <laughs> some Muhammad Ali rounds, okay? But um, these stencils, I, I have nothing bad to say about them. And you guys will see. I was really, really impressed with the outcome. And I got to say, the first project and this one is my favorite of today. While I do love all of them, these stole the show, in my humble opinion. <laughs> so what I'm going to do... As you guys can see, I took these shadow boxes from Dollar Tree. They come in this trio of sizes right here. And I just stained them using my Burnt Umber, which you guys have seen. If you've been around with me anytime, you know I am faithful to my Burnt Umber and it's faithful to me. It's just my preference for staining. I will on occasion use other stains, but that is my go-to for staining. I did go in and do some white washing or white brushing, should I say, with some of the white paint by Waverly. And now I'm taking some of the chalk paste by um, the chalk paste by Chalk Couture, <laughs> and I'm just applying it. And the paste with Chalk Couture. It does, it takes very minimal. Now you guys see me going back and forth, back and forth, but it's just because I'm literally putting just little dabs on there and I didn't want to press in too much because a little bit, and I do mean a little bit, goes a long way with the chocolate paste. And when you're doing stenciling, it's just like rub on transfers. You rub it on. If your coat is not thick enough, leave it as is. 
and just go over it one more time and generally that'll push the paste through and you want to remove the stencils right away because if you leave them on there the chances are that it will pull up some of your paint now if you're into the distressed look farmhouse look that kind of style it really wouldn't hurt the project too much but if you want a clean you know precise stencil pull it up immediately and wash it immediately they usually come with instructions and you just use some lukewarm water with some soap i do use dawn soap don't know if that's the best thing but that's my preference and that's what i use and it hasn't hurt my stencils so guys do you see this i love this and i love the sayings here i love the one it says daydream and the other one says love what you do um i'm sorry do what you love, love what you do. And like I said, the other one says make today oh, um, awesome. I think I said amazing, but make today awesome. And those are just the kind of reminders I love to have in my life. And those are things that you could put up and they can stamp all year round. Now, here is our final project of today, guys. And yes, we're coming with another butterfly. Now, I have this wood round that I picked up in a pack from Hobby Lobby. I think they come six in a pack uh, for $5.99 or something like that. But I got them 40% off. Of course, you know I'm not paying full price for it. So, this stencil is another one from Chalk Tour, And this one just says um, um, everything changes and i love that saying it spoke volumes to me and at the bottom it says nothing stays the same but i'm not going to use the bottom portion of this i'm just going to use the top i think it says nothing yeah nothing is the same i think that's what it says at the bottom i don't know i can't see all I know is it just says everything changes at the top. And that was the part that I wanted. But I wanted to say to you guys is that it spoke volumes to me because it's true. Especially with a lot of things that's going on in my life personally um, with my family and so on and so forth. That, you know, we shouldn't take anything for granted. Every day is a blessing. And um, things can change in, a, in the twinkling of an eye. And it is, you know, we have to be grateful for so much. So I really, really love this particular piece. Um, I, I think it's just really, it's, it's just a personal piece that's really um, spoke to my spirit and, and lifted my spirit, should I say. And what I'm doing here is I'm taking some um, clothes pins. I did separate them. I took 15 of them and I'm just lining them at the bottom there and I'm gluing them on just with hot glue, um, with this particular piece. And what I want you guys to see is I'm trying to make kind of a corner of a box. So I'm trying to make a planter. <laughs> <laughs> okay and i know i know read just just follow me okay y'all know my y'all know how my visions go they don't always come out how i want them to but i think i captured this one guys but you guys gotta let me know if you see the corner of a planter <laughs> now i'm taking some of my jute twine and i'm hanging it across there because i was also kind of going for a nautical vibe if you will not full-on nautical but that's the vibe i was going for and i really like this piece guys i really do this is probably my number three favorite right here and i don't know it might be a tie for everything guys to be completely honest because everything made me smile today i had no ooh, like i don't know man i didn't have none of that today so well i'm, I'm lying I'm lying because I did not care for my paint choice here. I use the color guava, um, a guava, how do you say guava? I hope I said that right. Um, and it's a chalk paste, but it came out way brighter than, or more orangey, should I say, than what I wanted. And it was supposed to be more like a coral color. But anyway, I'm going to fix that. I'm going to change it. I'm going to use it as a highlight, a background. Okay, so... But it was it still came out to be a beautiful piece in my opinion. But let me know, guys, if you had a favorite today. And see, see what I did? I'm bringing in this butterfly from Dollar Tree. And sorry for the movement, guys, because I am holding the camera at this point because I forgot <laughs> to record this part. So I had to come back. Okay. But here is everything. Here is the final reveal. And I really love this little tray, this decorative tray. It can be used just here as a leaner. You can also use it as a vignette if you want i mean the options are endless with this particular piece and i think it's absolutely stunning i really truly do um here is our wood round i think it's beautiful do you guys see the planner do you see it i see it i see it <laughs> guys also 
If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting. You know how I feel about those comments. You know they are always desired. Never are they required because I absolutely love to chat with you guys after each and every video, lovies. So do me a solid, especially hit that like button. It really, really helps my channel out. And the comments, keep those comments coming, please. I love, love, love to chat with you guys. All right. And let me know, lovies, if you have a favorite today. I love this piece. I'm so glad I finally found something to do with it. <laughs> it is giving me all the Mediterranean vibes. And until the next video, be safe, be kind, and happy crafting your days away. Bye.